Hey guys, my name is Abilene and today I'm going to be filming my first YouTube video. So, what I'm doing is basically I'm showing you guys some of my favorite things that I've bought in the past six months. Even though this is not even like a quarter of the things I've bought because I have a huge shopping problem. Um, and that's a whole different video, that's a whole different video that would take way too long. So. I'm just going to be showing you guys some of my favorite things that I've bought in the past six months that I've used a lot. And some of them are really unnecessary, but some of them are like, okay, it kind of makes sense. Anyways, let's get into the video. First thing um, is the champagne toast perfume. Um, usually I don't wear perfume. I don't remember the last time I wore perfume consistently. But my friend has this perfume and she started wearing it all the time and then I started wearing it all the time and then I just thought why not buy one for myself. So this is just a really, really, really good smelling perfume. It's from Bath and Body Works and I use it every day for the past like two months and it's barely gone. So um, I don't know what your type of scent is, but this is probably something that you should buy yourself. Not telling you what to do, but kind of telling you what to do. Next thing, I don't know why this is kind of random, but I got this tank top and it's okay. I kind of went on a shopping spree, of course, I did. I kind of went on a shopping spree, um, a couple weeks ago, and all the shirts I got were baby blue, so I have like a large amount of baby blue in my closet now. But it's this ribbed tank top. And I just really like it. It's from Hollister. And that's why I get like most of my clothes because I spent so much money there that I just get like a lot of deals. Um, so most of my wardrobe is from Hollister. Like 85% of it. It's really bad. Um, but it's just so cute and it's soft and it's comfortable and yeah, kind of random, but just like basic and very cute and base. Yeah, I already said basic. So yeah. Lulu's. <laughs> Um, I told myself I would never, ever buy Lulu's, and then I bought a pair from my friend for, like, 20 bucks, and I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of want Lulu's now, and I had money put in savings that I, like, wasn't going to touch, like, I shouldn't have touched it, and I just took out a hundred and bought myself a pair of Lulu's, and I do owe money to my savings now, but like I needed leggings so it was kind of an excuse I don't know um I got a lot of crap for that purchase because I told everyone that I like took money out of my savings to buy a pair of Lulu's and it's okay because you live and you learn but very worth it um I don't feel like I'm gonna get a hole in them just because like I don't feel scared that they're gonna rip and they're just so durable so not that I'm saying you should go out and buy your pair, buy yourself a pair of Lulus because it wasn't the best purchase on my end, but it was the best purchase. If you know what I mean, like it wasn't necessary, but it was a good purchase. Next thing is also really random and I, it's my kind of own like silly, stupid thing. I bought a shower cap and I feel like this is just like random and basic and like, it's not a big deal, but like, I don't know what makes me love this so much like i just feel so happy in it but i don't know why one thing i don't like about the shower cap it smells like salt and vinegar chips and i don't know why because i don't eat salt and vinegar chips but like, maybe it's supposed to help with your hair i don't know all i do know is if you want to just feel a little bit more happy just get a shower cap. next um thing I purchased from Redbubble is a t-shirt with Joshua Bassett on it and I get crap every time I wear it because yeah I know like all the drama with Sabrina Carpenter and Olivia Rodrigo but like he's just a good looking guy I don't regret it it is my favorite t-shirt and it says I'm probably gonna get a sweatshirt next 
um i think i spent like 30 bucks on this which is worth it and i didn't think twice about buying it the next thing is kind of unnecessary but also kind of necessary i made a little coffee bar in my room i already had the keurig because my it was my mom's and she didn't use it and i just sat on my dresser and i just took it down to make coffee but i was like wait a minute we can make this cute. I got this wood like coffee mug holder, which is adorable um, from Amazon as well. And I used to have it in like a plastic tub, my cups. So this is just looks so much better in my opinion. And I just love it. And then I got this spinny cured cup holder. I just feel like it pull just like looks so cute in my room. Kind of unnecessary to have like a coffee bar in your room, but I'm kind of loving it. Another thing I will show you and it's amazing. Okay, so I have my TV, right? If it will work. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button, that's why. Okay, so it's these LED lights that literally you tape, not tape, they stick behind your TV and it just looks so cool I can't, okay now it's not changing but it just looks so cool and I can't get over it and I just love it last thing was kind of unnecessary like it was pretty unnecessary but I'm unnecessary so. I literally bought a snack cart for my room and it looks tiny and it is Basically, I bought it off Amazon and I didn't look at the dimensions, which apparently you have to do because I also almost bought a $90 coffee table and it was only a foot tall. Like I wanted to, you see, you saw what my Keurig and stuff was on. I wanted it to be used as my coffee bar so it would like, I could stand and make coffee, but it would have gone to like my kneecaps, maybe. So, word of advice... Look at the dimensions on things because I didn't, and I didn't want that snack art. Like it's a decent size, if you can see, but still kind of tiny. It's right in front of my bed, which probably isn't the best idea because I'm constantly just looking at the snacks I have on there. Um, and this is the first thing I see in the morning. It's like, if I have chicken and biscuit crackers, it's like, eat me, eat me, when I, right when I wake up. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. Um, I hope this channel goes well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is just some of the random, kind of necessary, but kind of unnecessary things that I bought in the past six months. Um, please subscribe. I don't know what to say at the end of these videos, but thank you for taking time out of your day to watch someone like me because it makes someone like me happy. So thank you, have a great night, and I'm not sure our posting schedule, we'll see, maybe once a week, we'll see. So, thank you for watching, um, I'll see you in future videos. Bye guys!